Hello my dear friends, I'm so glad to see you in this video. I have wonderful news. I have finally received my CE certificate and I am now officially a proficiency English student. And today I will share my experience with you and give you some general tips. Okay, let's start! The tips I'm going to give you are obvious, but they're worth remembering. First of all, if you have enough time before the exam, you should improve your English level in general. Of course, there are certain techniques on how to deal with the exam tasks, but if your English level is not high enough, those techniques will not help you. So, tip number one. Work on your English level. You can use any Cambridge or Oxford books for the upper, intermediate or advanced level. Again, it depends on your current level and the amount of time you have. Secondly, do as many practice tests as possible, especially if you don't have enough time for preparation. The tasks are common and the more of them you do, the more you start to understand the way the authors of the task think. So sometimes you can just guess which answer is more likely to be correct. Also, this will help you to find your own strategies for the tasks. You will find the way which works best for you. Thirdly, time yourself. The CE exam is not difficult itself. It's the time limit which makes it difficult. You can't think properly. And it turns out that it's difficult to keep track of time. So time yourself all the time and always check how much time you spend on one task. I was wearing a watch and I always kept checking the time. Keeping track of time is particularly important for the writing part. It lasts 1 hour and 30 minutes and it's enough to write two pieces, but it turns out that it's not much to write both a draft and clean copy. You need to be really concentrated and you shouldn't waste a minute looking out of the window or thinking about something else. That's what happened to me. I thought that I had plenty of time, but instead I was running out of time without noticing. So when there were only 10 minutes left, I was in a real hurry and I started to panic. <laughs> I barely felt my hand. My handwriting became awful. It's a good thing that they don't assess your handwriting, but still, no sooner had I finished copying my second piece of writing, the exam was over. I was lucky to finish it in time, so my advice is don't risk it. Practice at home to check if there's enough time for you to write two pieces of writing as a draft and then copy them to the answer sheet. Timing is also important during the speaking part, especially when you have to compare two pictures on your own. You only have one minute for that and it turns out that you can only say a few sentences during that time. So practice at home to check if you manage to say everything which is needed. And the last piece of advice, check carefully the points of the task. Make sure that you got it right and cover all the points. It is particularly relevant for the writing and speaking part. Answer only those questions which were asked don't wander off the point. And if during the discussion you notice that your partner is drifting away and answering a different question, remind them of the question which was asked. But do it politely. Remember that you both will get more points if you collaborate. So, those are the things I would pay more attention if I knew about them before the exam. I wish you good luck and I hope that the CE exam will become a pleasant experience for you. Have a nice day, my dear friends, and see you next time! Bye!